Some of you guys, long-term subscribers, will remember Miss Nasal I've had for many, many years. Probably just about as long as I've had this YouTube channel. Actually, I think I've had the Kia Optima back when I first started my YouTube channel. It was all black, had black tinted windows, black tinted windshield. Uh, that was when I very, very first car that I had on the channel. It's when I started the channel. Uh, that car, believe it or not, actually got repossessed. Uh, I don't think I've ever said that on the channel, but it got repossessed even though I still ended up paying $17,000 for that car. And it was only worth twelve. dollars And so that just goes to show you, back then I was filed for bankruptcy. I went through all kinds of stuff and I was trying to go through a credit building program. And uh, I did that in hopes to build my credit, but my interest rates was so super high that I ended up paying $17,000 for a car that was only worth 12 that ended up getting taken anyway. Long story short, I well, sued that company um, and they settled with taking it off my credit report, uh, although it, it didn't show a repossession on my credit report. So I actually uh, sued them for their high level interest rate in the state of Pennsylvania, which was like borderline illegal. The problem with it was they, what they were doing was borderline illegal, but I um, I paid for the car times whatever. They still ta had taken the car uh, under their stupid rules. And it's just a story I can get into in another time. But in any case, I needed a car and that's why I ended up with the Miss Maisel. Um, and so I bought this thing for $1,000 and I had it ever since. Um, right now the transmission's blown on it and re not blown, I think it may be the clutch or it could be the tranny i don't know it slips i don't really care to look into it it is time to move on to better things and uh some of you may know i bought a 2023 tesla model 3 should be here in about four weeks or so i'm hoping maybe sooner uh i work at gigafactory the car is coming from the fremont plant in california and um it's it's awesome gasoline sucks who wants to pay for gas unless you have a motorcycle then gas is good um so goodbye to miss mazel and i'm going to talk about a truck edc though before we go we'll do one last truck everyday carry and for those of you guys who are like all oh, electric cars are stupid you know what if the world ends and, and all this other shit it's like if the world ends then then we got other things to worry about and you know actually i think the buyer is here now so um we'll continue this video when he leaves all right so one last edc for Miss Maisel. And we'll do a we'll do a different one when we get the Tesla. And I'll do a electric car EDC. But anyway, let's talk about some of the stuff you're gonna need in your truck. Uh, first of all, you should always have a full size spare. This goes under the truck, but it's there. Um, interior, you know, this thing's old and beat up. Somebody cut the catalytic converter off it, left the O2 sensor hanging there, so sounds like a damn truck right now which i had it up for much more than i have it up for now but that catalytic converter kills the price on us because they're so expensive to replace <laughs> good old miss mazel um so yeah truck edc first things first get yourself a good solid set of bolt cutters these things are, you know, they need a little love and attention, but they've been sitting in this old truck. These will transfer to the other car. Good truck saw. Samurai Ichiban. This thing, you gotta be careful. It's razor sharp, this thing is. But, yep, here's your Samurai Ichiban. I've cut many of things with this, videos we did with this. I mean, we've been through a lot. This truck this channel i mean we've made hundreds and hundreds of videos in this truck with some of this gear it's crazy it brings back so many so many memories man gosh sad to see it go but you know a brand new tesla i mean come on uh so a crowbar need one of those cold steel truck axe this is your trail boss hickory handle this is a really good i think this thing's 100 bucks on amazon it's a solid solid truck axe i need a sheath for it 
but this thing is awesome. If you're going camping, doing any of those kind of things, you need yourself a good axe. Uh, some kind of reflectors or flares. Good old classic windshield scraper. Trauma kit. This is a van quest. Need to update that tourniquet. That tourniquet's probably no good at this point. So remember, guys, your tourniquets will expire. If they look like that, where they're sun damaged and stuff, the windlass can break. They won't do their job. So got to get rid of that. Probably update everything in here. It's probably expired, some of that stuff. So, but yeah, trauma kit. Uh, this is a good one. All right. Something to lay on. Probably a tarp would be more ideal, but this is fine too. A reflector vest. So you can be seen. And then your, your tool kit. Um, a variety of different straps, uh, jumper cables, tire pressure gauge, screwdriver, uh, again, straps, uh, chargers, uh, tire plug kit, different things like that. Um, the straps won't transfer. I'll probably only transfer the Tesla, the tire plug kit. That's about it. That thing's got roadside assistance and... and uh, everything in the world so you don't really need tools um unless you're going on a trip but fuses extra fuses um variety of tools some breaker bars and stuff like that to uh crack the lugs and then a good jack this is a, a nice jack not like a crappy you know scissor jack just a really solid jack so you could jack the truck up and then throw all that stuff in the back there or you're good to go but for those of you saying all electric cars you know what if the whole grid goes down and all that stuff it's like you know, whatever you know, all right then i guess we're walking if we can't power the car up but believe me the whole grid goes down and you're gonna have bigger fish to worry about um and listen this is so unlikely i know there's a lot of talk and these preppers and you know fear mongers you know what who gives a shit dude just fight fight for your last breath when that day comes don't worry about it for now prep accordingly don't neglect the fact that it can happen because it can you know we had things like COVID happen where supermarkets were getting raided the whole cities were being turned upside down it can happen and if it happens again you can probably bet it's going to be much worse okay but the thing about it is you can't live your life in fear. I will not live my life in fear and sit there and and spend all my money on shit that's, that's going to sit around. You know, like stockpiles of food and toilet paper and fucking all kind of gas and whatever else. It's like, just fuck off with all that shit. According, uh, plan accordingly. I mean, it's okay to have a couple of months worth of stuff, but I mean, there's, there's big hoarders and ugh, whatever. Anyway, so that's it, guys. Miss Maisel is gone from the channel. Never seen again, probably after today. Um, so yeah, like, share, subscribe. And we'll, we'll be showing the uh, Model 3 when it comes to the house. Peace. Like, share, subscribe.